morning you guys, this is Dawn Gallus of Number 9 Farms and today I wanted to show you my bee box that I got done for the, um, every year they have a um, competition that you uh, enter and of course I don't really enter it for the competition part of it because I'm not really a professional painter or anything like that, I just love to paint. So. Um, she's entered me in the professional category but I think this year I told her I wanted to be in the amateur um, one because everybody's like fine art in the uh, professional category so you know here here's this mixed media artist that's like you know everybody else is all perfect and everything and, and which is they're all absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful amazing um, works of art but I wanted to show, share with mine, um, the first year I entered, I did one of my um, uh, mermaids. Of course, I love painting mermaids. It uh, got first place. And I got $75 from that, which the re they ended up selling the box for like almost, I don't know, $200. Then I think the following year, I got second place and I did three boxes that year. But in each one of the boxes draws a lot, right, right much money. And then last year, my box, I didn't win anything, but the box got second um, highest in the amount of money that it, it um, earned in the auction, which all goes to help the bees. So it's all good and it's fun not to mention. So I wanted to show you, so this was side one and it's all finished and here here is uh, how it looks I did the uh, Christy Tomlinson um, techniques kind of inspired and I took classes from her in like 2010 2011 and one year I was at um, I actually taught at Donna Downey's and she did too and it was this was actually this was side two so this is the continuation of the um, clothesline and you can see the honey for sale, the laundry basket. Of course, Bruce all said this was nothing but me, the, the girl in the skirt selling her honey, hanging her laundry out, which is my favorite thing to do. And then I love this side here with my chickens and the the trees, the clouds, and the little house, and I was inspired to paint the pink house because my um, great-grandmother, when I was little, had a uh, pink house, and I was sitting there thinking, what kind of house can I paint that would look different? And pink came to my head because of my grandma. Um, she had a stucco house in Kansas that was pink, and we just loved it. And then, of course, the bee yard with all the bee boxes. I just had a really good time painting it and I just did it every time after all my chores and stuff and I came out here on my porch and just had fun and now me and Bruce are gonna drive it over and take it because um, yesterday was a busy day and Saturday he worked and I took care of all the animals and everything he went into uh, a show at Knott's Island, North Carolina. But I'm going to show you now some of the other pictures of all the other bee boxes I'm going to add on to this video. And I hope everybody had a great weekend. And I will see you next time. And thanks for watching. Bye.